Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Averin Lefebvre, and in this video, we're going to be reviewing the Borealis Marauder. This board features Borealis's Blizzard Camber, which is like a slightly set back directional cam rocker. So you got rocker in the nose, camber through the midsection, little rocker in the tail. That's gonna help you float in pow as well as ease of entry in and out of turns, but you're gonna have the snap and pop of traditional camber underfoot. This board is only available in 154. I rode this board at Arapaho Basin on a day that had colder temps. It was overcast. There was fresh snow. It was lightly snowing. You had heavy wind loaded snow, blown off, just scraped crust. And I rode it with my Rome Black Label bindings and my K2 Thraxxus boots. Once again, directional shape, clearly directional flex. But the big thing with this board is it's just fucking stiff. It's, it's, just stiff all the way through. From the nose to the tail, it's just stiff. There's not a lot of torsional give. This board can plow through everything in its path. You're not gonna notice any chatter. It just it just does not flap or flex. You get into rutted out terrain, it doesn't wash out, it doesn't get bucked around, but this board is just fucking stiff. It's not like it's any softer in the nose or in the tail. It's just stiff all the way through. The snap and pop is there. It's not mind blowing. It gets the job done. It's one of those boards that you really have to aggressively load that camber section, really push into it to get any rebound out of. Basically, if you like popping and you think that this board is going to be very poppy, it's not. You know, it's, it's very stiff. Very, very stiff. It's very aggressive. It takes a lot to load it. And even then, you don't get a lot of rebound out of it. When it comes to buttering, you got this wider platform on the nose and it's a chore to butter with it. You're gonna have to work it. It's gonna fight you. Now, if you want to get up on the tail, you're just doing those little wheelies and that's about it. It takes a bit of effort to get this board up on edge. It's not the most nimble. You're gonna notice that the transition from toe to heel takes a little bit more effort. When you do get it on edge, it's locked in. But it's one of those boards that's not great at like deep, hard, aggressive carves. It really stands out in those mellow, elongated carves. Like you get it on edge, it's locked in, and you're just transitioning from one side of the run back to the other. It's one of those boards that even if you drive into it, it really doesn't change anything with it. Who's this board for? The big footed free ride guy that's a little heavier and likes to charge. You know, basically if you really like charging, you're probably gonna love this board because it's that stiff. Comparable boards, the K2 Cool Bean, the Ride Mountain Pig, the Nidecker Smoke. The biggest thing that I noticed with this board is the up kick in the nose coupled with how wide it is. In lower angle pow, it almost acted like a brake, like this board, it didn't plane that well in lower angle pow. It just sort of, it just, it just sort of slowed down, if you will. And it's really stiff and it's really aggressive. It takes a lot to drive this board. Like you're gonna get a workout when you ride this thing. Is that for me? No. Is it for someone out there? Definitely. This has been my review of the Borealis Marauder. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own one? Are you gonna buy one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this snowboard. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really wanna support us and you just really wanna see us grow out what we're doing over here, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP. I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Averin Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.